Now I'm just coming through this gate. I'm on the West Mendip Way still. Across the big road. And now I'm going through a little tiny path for a minute before I have to enter a field where quite often there's cows. And because we've got mild weather, I think the to be quite honest, the farmers are leaving, leaving them out or they're getting breeds that can be left out. So I'll just take us along here. Haven't met any... Well, I did meet three people. All had really high Wellington boots on. Obviously local. Um, they all had smart clothes on, actually, but with wellies. And they were just about to go down that real muddy track that I came up earlier, hence I'm covered in mud. It's got up windy again. I was hopeful a minute ago when the sun came out and there was blue sky for a little while. Well, I'll be in Robo War and I'll be protected by the trees anyway, so it's not until I get up. Hopefully by the time I get up on the Mendips, the wind should have dropped because it says it was going to be six or seven, you know, speed. So it doesn't sound like that to me at the moment. So once again, this is still an ancient track with an old gate there. I've got a feeling there's another track that goes down through there. I've just seen some seating in that. But uh, it might take you out into a field, a different area, I'm not sure. There we go, the West Mendip Way, everyone. As long as it don't rain, we're all right, because I did not bring the umbrella today. I did not bring the umbrella. Once I walked back, when I was coming the other in reverse, and a little old lady walked with me along here. She lived in one of the big houses back there. She's a very nice lady, she was. She had a dog. She could have been, she might, she could have been a ghost. I mean, who knows? When you meet people, you never see them again. Well, it looks like we've got a tree down further up there since I was here last. I mean, I sometimes come this way about twice a year, um, in going one way or the other. And, uh, And there's a big tree falling there. So I've just come from there. The last video of 2019 walk. I'm just doing a series of small ones just for posterity, really. Um, the Queen's Honours list. I just show, say a few things. Ian Duncan Smith, a conservative bloke. The bloke that put into operation terrible sanctions on penalties against poor people, vulnerable people, disabled people, people with mental health, people with no legs, people dying of cancer. Many people died under him when he imposed this terrible punitive sanctions against people, making people wait and wait for money. <sighs> denying them money if they made if they didn't get their spelling right or they were two minutes late often because they couldn't get through the queue quick enough this is a man who's got blood on his hands and the Queen has decided and Boris Johnson rather to knight him they're throwing it at our faces it's disgusting I knew all this would happen I told people they would start immediately, within a week of getting in. They've ordered, they've done doing all sorts of military stuff, um, private, private stuff. All those people that voted for him up north, <laughs> deserve you right, mate. You deserve Labour. 
and let them Tories in, they're going to walk all over you for five years now. They've already been in ten years and done so much destruction. I just wanted to get this bit out. Because I always put a bit of news on. President Bush, I be, not President Bush, President Trump, I think, has been impeached. There was something going on. I don't know if it's official. Because of um, some sort of dodgy deals. Uh, yeah, it's all very messy over there with their politics. You know, there's no loyalty in their country at all, if you ask me. Uh, Obama was the best. <sighs> but then even him probably had his highs, his hands tied. But Trump seems to be able to get away with murder. <sighs> And they're showing, the BBC have really showing their right-wing tendencies in so many ways. It's absolutely terrible watching BBC. Even Radio 4 is starting to copy them. And uh, it's awful. We've got, we're, they keep showing all this Nazi stuff on the telly from the past. Trying to brainwash people again. They're blaming the Labour Party for being anti-Semitic. Well, what a farce that is with the stuff they put on. I've got to put this sort of thing on the videos because I'll tell you why. Just in case I have people many hundreds of years' time listen to this. I'm telling them what's going on in the world as I walk. You know, December the 30th, 2019. I wish I'd had a visual diary of my ancestors. I don't even know if any of them would get any of this. I mean, basically, I share it on YouTube and other... I've seen somebody coming, I'm going to turn off in a minute, and other um, places with the hope of preserving some of it. I can't put the videos on um, ancestry as such. I can, I can, I can but I've, I've forgotten to be doing it properly on um, Facebook. Anyway, over and out for a minute. Right, back on again. As you can see, the sun is is out over there. Right over there, over um, Robera Way. I'm just trying to find a way out. I can't remember it. Yeah, all this was to do with the mining, ship and mining. That's got a special name for these huddly puddly things. Um, I can't remember the way out. Well, I'll follow it. This looks like a road, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, no can't see no cows. I'm hoping this does take me to the gate. If not, I'll just curve round. It could be down there, you see. I just can't remember. We'll go this way for now. I think people find it amusing because I'm covered in mud. But they don't realise where I've walked from, you know. So I don't come out like this just for the fun of it. I've done it to protect my actual clothing. Now, one thing I thought I might try and do, because I do live alone, really, and it's uh, family are isolating. I don't see much of them anymore. The grandkids are all grown up and doing their own thing. Boyfriends and whatever they do. I can't bet you anything that gate's down there. I just can't remember a minute. And, uh, oh, I just can't remember where the gate is. It's down there somewhere. Oh, I can see it now. I can see it. It's over there. Yeah, so I think I ought to join something, really. But I'm not really, um, one for joining stuff anymore you know I'm definitely not won't be joining a walking group I can see cows now over there right we'll go back around this way I didn't want to get my feet wet see I can see cows but I don't know if they can come in here yeah I think the path was over there but there looks like there's a little path here Yes, normally it's over there and go up. So it's still very misty, everyone. Yeah, I was just thinking of perhaps um, 
communicating with humans again. Um, trying it anyway. Just trying it and see what it'd be like. Um, I want intelligent people though. I don't want it sort of focused around pubs and drinking and all that sort of thing. No, nothing like that, no. <sighs> nothing like that. Anyway, I'm, I'm very aware of my toe. It's not hurting as such, but uh, it did go in quite a long way. I mean, it's like a needle stick injury. Um, I probably I might have to go to the doctors tomorrow if it doesn't improve. Um, or it, obviously the walk might not have, might not help. But at the same time, I wanted to get this walk done just in case I'm going to be unable to because of an infection or anything the worst sort of scenario. I think more than anything is the plaster that I've put on it that's irritating. So anyway, I've got over there. I should have come around that way. It didn't matter. Now when I had uh, the other camera, which is identical to this one, or it could have been another one, I dropped it here. And I don't think it was ever the same again. Actually, and it was quite new. It was a smaller one, smaller 20. I got two of these 30s and I did want to get 100, but I'll have to wait until I've paid for the um, dehumidifier. Right then, over and out. It's just a little video.